So uh, I guess I should say uh, welcome, Elaine, and I hope, uh, as you, you know, and maybe now all of you know that I'm in San Francisco, California, but Elaine, you and I imagine most of our listeners are in Connecticut, and I do hope that you uh, are, are keeping your head above the snow. It's easy to forget. We're all so connected now um, on, on the internet. And when I heard you were on your way home, I thought, what is he doing out in this horrible storm? <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to be the smug Californian here today and tell you what the weather is, what is like. I'm not going to have one bit of that, but um, I'm, I'm glad that you are, you're up and running. And I just, uh, keep, keeping our fingers crossed, since this is very much a live event uh, uh, that our, the internet, internet gods will smile on us and our connectivity will be absolutely 110% throughout this uh, event. And we'll keep forging ahead. If anybody has technical so, problems, we'll just keep going and uh, and hope for the best and hope people will be able to ring back in. Exactly. So why don't, why don't you start things off here? Tell, tell uh, folks what the gala is about, what's it in, what, what is involved and what-, what Well, it's exciting. It's, it's something new and different for your New Haven Symphony Orchestra. Um, we have a whole evening plan that sort of resembles a gala and sort of also resembles like a, a Bing Crosby holiday special with your favorite orchestra. So um, people can tune in at six o'clock. Some people are getting all dressed up you don't have to do that. Um, but if you want to and you think it'd be fun, you're very welcome to. Um, there'll be a virtual red carpet that runs from 6 to 7 p.m. Some people have sent in little salutes to the folks who've won awards, and those will be played during those time. Um, for folks who have signed up with a benefactor or a patron ticket that includes dinner, either your meal will have been delivered earlier in the evening, or you'll have stopped by Woodwinds to get a, a completely contactless uh, trunk delivery of your dinner. So you're welcome to eat with us during the red carpet or during the main part of the gala, or you can eat according to your own schedule. The main part of the show kicks off at seven o'clock. So the main segment in the middle is a 90 minute section from seven until 8.30 when we'll hear from all of our um, awardees and from our honoree. And we've got some very exciting content that'll air during that time. And when we get to about 8.30ish, um, we're gonna have the after party. So this new technology that we're all trying out tonight called uh, Hop In, it allows you to hop from place to place. And that's going to be explained to you. We have some folks here, our little tech squad. Um, so you can try going to the sessions and on the night of the gala, our honorees and our awardees will have their different sessions and you can hobnob and check in with people and see what they're up to, um, even though we can't be all together in the same room as we usually are during a gala. Maybe we should say a few words about the theme of the gala itself. This yeah, the yeah, I, I, I think right? it captured so many things. So the theme for this year is rise. And as you can imagine, uh, six months ago when we were deciding whether we should go forward with a gala, what would make sense at this time? It seemed a little tone deaf to throw just a great big party, but we were so inspired by how many people in the community really have risen above. They've done so much to serve their neighbors. Um, so we wanted to continue our tradition of honoring people. Um, we also know that people have been turning to the arts, that this is how they're feeding their soul and, and helping themselves to rise above all of the difficulties right now. And we want the arts to be at the center of that going forward as we come out of the pandemic. So we thought Rise was just a terrific theme that talked about moving through this difficult time. And then we also wanted to celebrate the incredible young talents in our community. And you'll see that throughout the gala that we have these incredibly talented young people that are going to join us and we'd like to help lift them as they begin their careers in the arts. Yeah, it feels it just, I know we all, we all talked about that a fair amount uh, behind the scenes and it just feels like we have a, a really great theme for the evening. Um, tell us a little bit, Elaine, maybe I'm, I'm asking you another question here. Um, uh, how does the virtual format of this uh, impact, let's say the, the, the experience, the guest experience um, for, well, obviously, for it's, it's very different. One of my favorite things about the galas is that you can visit with people and catch up with them. So we hope we solve that a little bit with this new software. And we're really grateful to you all for being patient about trying something new. I, I know we're all pretty tired of having to learn two technologies. But 
the nice benefit of uh, doing something online is that we have so many brand new members of the audience, people who've never been to galas before, um, people from all across the country. We've got people coming from California, um, from other countries. Oh, that's right. You're coming from California. So, so are some of my family who live in the Los Angeles area. Um, we've got people coming up from Oregon cool. and from Canada, um, all different places. I'm particularly excited. Um, one of the people we're honoring, Helen Eugenia Hagen, uh, has unfortunately passed away. She's being honored posthumously, but she still has a number of relatives living down south, and they're going to be tuning in from Virginia, North Carolina, and Georgia, which under other circumstances, they probably wouldn't have been able to join us to see their great aunt honored. So uh, it's a little treat that they'll be able to join us because we're online. But a few of you uh, will be there uh, in the same place, actually, in person. So there will be a real uh, flesh and blood uh, element to it as well. We're not entirely... No. Uh, so we have a 600-seat ballroom at the Woodwinds, which is where we originally had hoped to do the gala. And there will be 15 of us there. We are told it's entirely safe to have 15 people there. Um, very, very strict rules. You can't honor the Yale School of Public Health and not follow all of the COVID safety protocols. So we'll be there. Uh, when we're not on camera, we'll have our masks on and we each have our own little cubicle stations with the air purifiers and uh, every safety precaution will be in place. So we've got, if you can imagine a 600 seat ballroom um, with about six or seven people from the symphony and about six or seven people running the cameras and the technology to make everything work. Sorry, I can't be with you there in person, of course, but, uh, but of course I'm looking forward to to as many other people are going to be joining online. Maybe this is a good point to, uh, you were mentioning earlier about the uh, awards and honoree uh, of the evening. And so maybe it would be a good time for me to talk a little bit about the four, uh, well, we call them our really our quartet awards that we award annually to people in various fields. Um, and so I, I'm just excited to share that this year uh, we have a, a wonderful group of, of honorees um, in the four categories, innovation, education, artistry, and history. And as Elaine said just a few minutes ago, in the innovation category this year, we're delighted to pay tribute to the Yale School of Public Health, since particularly apposite in this time that we find ourselves. Then in the field of education, two forces of nature in New Haven, uh, Diane Brown and Sha Feng will be honored. And then in the field of artistry, the great American soprano Harolyn Blackwell is this year's recipient of the Artist Award. And as you said, Elaine, posthumously, uh, Helen Hagen, who was the first African-American graduate from Yale University, I believe she graduated in 1912. So indeed her award is being conferred uh, posthumously, but we're so thrilled that some of her descendants are gonna be able to join us for the gala. So those are our quartet awards. And then there's one uh, very special award, the Wattles Award, which we are awarding this year. And Elaine, why don't you tell us? Oh, it's, it's, it's very exciting. Um, it's someone that I've worked so closely with over the past 10 years and who's been such an incredible influence, um, not only on the symphony, but on uh, the community of New Haven altogether. And that's Burton Alter. He's a former president of the New Haven Symphony Board. Um, he was on the Neighborhood Music School Board, where he helped uh, do a lot of the lobbying to get them the money to do the massive renovation they did to update the school 15 years ago. And he's currently serving as the president of the Community Soup Kitchen. Um, he's just an incredible governor. He's, he's such a good board member. And he's taken all of those skills and served not only our community, um, but he was an officer at the uh, National Guild for Schools of Community Arts Education. Um, and he's now serving at the League of American Orchestras as their treasurer. So having done such an incredible job here in New Haven, he's out there in the field, you know, changing hearts and minds and training the next generation of not-for-profit board leaders. So uh, just an incredible, incredible career serving our community. And I can't imagine anyone better to receive the Waddles Award this year. That's going to be, that's wonderful. And so, and so richly served to um, I thought I should share one other musical highlight. I think we can tell them. Think, Elaine, yeah, that'd be that exciting. Very special. That is absolutely, no, something that's close to my heart. Um, it's going to be a, a pleasure to 
uh, introduce this world premiere of a piece that's been written specially for the occasion by an incredibly gifted young man. Anton Kott is his name. He is an immediate graduate, both of high school in the New Haven area and also of the New Haven Symphony's Young Composers Program. And in that capacity, he and I worked together last year. Um, he is now a freshman at NYU, uh, but he is a, a, an incredible, incredibly buried in his talents as, as well as being a composer. He's a phenomenal jazz pianist and drummer. And so he has written a short piece, which he's entitled Rise. Um, and it's, he's written and recorded it himself at the piano, but it has also been choreographed. So we're going to see a wonderful confluence of art forms since uh, Nikki Claxton, the choreographer, has set the piece to music and it will be danced by Jaleel Jeffries, both of whom are also from New Haven. So this is really a celebration of our community rising to meet the occasion. Um, I've seen and heard the piece that Anton has, has composed and it's, it's just wonderful. And I'm, I'm so excited that this is gonna be at the center of our gallery. It's, it's another Saturday. example of how when you have to be creative, some beautiful things can happen. I don't think we've ever had a world premiere at our gala before. So uh, they're really a very special treat yeah. for people who are gonna join us online. Well, this is incredible. Uh, so many things because there was so much to look forward to and uh, I'm sure you have a bunch of questions. And so I think Elaine and I are going to turn things over to our wonderful director of development, Dan Kamengay, who's going to take the reins and-, and Well, thank you so much, Alistair party. and Elaine. Very generous of you to share your time tonight. Uh, it's a busy week for, for both of you and uh, we, we're very excited. I think your comments certainly uh, can, can inspire our guests tonight. Uh, and so I'm going to ask our guests, if you have any questions or you just like to check out the sessions because it's kind of a fun aspect to this system, you're going to experience it on Saturday night as well. If you would join me in the sessions right now, you're going to see that button on the side of your screen. Just look to the side, the left side of your screen under the stage. You're going to see sessions. Click on that and you can join a session with me or you can join a session with John. I hope you have a great night. Be well. We'll see you on Saturday. Thanks, everybody.